Now, one of the biggest news stories of 2019 was the pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong, and there's no sign of an end to the demonstrations going into the new year. An anti-government march has been broken up by police after scuffles broke out between protesters and riot police. Tens of thousands of demonstrators had taken to the streets for a largely peaceful New Year's Day rally against China's growing influence and the erosion of civil liberties in the territory. OK, let's cross to our correspondent, Matthias Berlinger, who is covering the rally in Hong Kong. Matthias, now this started as a peaceful demonstration, but now we're seeing uh, violent clashes. What, what's happening there? Yeah, the protesters had met today to set the agenda for 2020, that the protests will continue. The rally stayed peaceful for about uh, three hours. It was a big rally, uh, hundreds of thousands of people marching. Again, the organizers put the number at one million. Uh, then uh, protesters vandalized the branch of a bank and police fired tear gas and then everything turned into these running battles that we've seen throughout the last six months, seven months almost. And now the police have uh, rounded up the protesters and they have made arrests there. More than 100 people, uh, that's uh, my estimate what, from what I could see, uh, are detained in there. The press has been driven out. Uh, the uh, area has been sealed off. You see these bright lights. These bright lights are meant to irritate our camera. Um, and uh, uh, the press has been uh, forced out of there. So we do not know what's happening in there. But what we know, this is a major arrest and probably also a major blow to the protest movement today. Remind us why people are still taking to the streets after six months of protesting. A lot of anger has built up during these six months. If you remember, everything started when the government tried to pass a bill that would allow for extraditions to China. This bill has been withdrawn three months after the protests started. But uh, people have accused the police since the beginning of being excessively violent. Of, uh, they have been using tear gas one, at one of the first demonstrations excessively. And that has driven people's anger. Then one thing came to the other. Both sides have uh, radicalized. The police is now much more brutal than at the time uh, when it was accused of being brutal for the first time. And the protesters are using more and more violence, mm -hmm. uh, petrol bombs. So in this cycle of escalation, there is no sign now from the government that they might compromise. The protesters are mainly mm -hmm. demanding an investigation into police violence and uh, free elections. 2020 is an election year, but okay. the government has made clear that it's not ready to meet any of the demands. That's why it continues. All right. Matthias Berlinger in Hong Kong. Thanks very much.